Well, hello from the Tin Man. Okay, well, didn't quite make the pulse motor build off, but um, been pretty busy with work and clean up around home after the storms we've had. But I have been working on something for quite some time now, uh, and just thought I'd post this video on the machine and what it is. Um, a lot of you might be interested in this, especially rust, I think. Now, um, what we have here, just have a, well it was just going to be a pendulum, but it's decided to go round and round in circles anyway. Um, so of course we've just got a magnet on one end. Unfortunately that's as far as the camera zooms out. But um, a magnet on the long end, passing a bifilar coil. Yeah, it's not a very good coil, it's actually got an extra little coil on the bottom was for something else, but I'm just using that one. Here I've made up a water battery and I'm using copper for the positive plates and zinc for the negative plates. Um, these are hooked up in series and going into that cap and this of course is our charge cap from the back EMF. So normally with these setups the plates will start to deteriorate and eventually the machine will stop. But we have come up with a way to stop the plates deteriorating. So um, the way that I've done that is off of the trigger coil the front side that goes to your pot, I have a diode facing that direction. So that is coming from the trigger coil, and then of course it goes through your pot and into the base, like on your normal SSG circuits. But what I've done is I've gone through a another pot here, it's a 1K pot, bridge two of the terminals, and that goes to the negative side or your negative plates. Now on the cap over there, I'll try not to get my camera smacked, probably can't see it, but I have a diode between positive and negative, of course the right way around so you don't get any sparks and the reason for that is because when the trigger coil collapses, this side becomes a below zero volt negative and the negative side of your cap will become your positive. So what we're doing now, of course, with no um, electrolysis, we know that if you use our two plates as per normal as a water battery and we take power from it, the zinc coating on the plate will slowly move across to the positive side of the copper, thus both plates will deteriorate. We'll end up with a copper plate having a um, zinc coating on it after a while. But what is also true is the reverse. When you put a negative charge on your zinc plate with a positive potential on your copper plates, that is reversed that will then pull the zinc back off the copper and place it back onto the zinc plate. Now the idea is not to do or not to put too much current over too long a period of time otherwise you'll end up pulling copper off that plate and placing it on the zinc plate. So this is where the 1k pot comes in play. I can adjust the amount of current or the negative charge that's going to the zinc plates which reverses the process of when we're drawing power off of those plates or from the water cell. So if I start to see the plates are starting to deteriorate, I just adjust the pot a little, 
so we get a little bit more of that back EMF current going to the zinc plates and that stops it. Now once it's set right the plates don't deteriorate. So here I have a couple of plates. Now this one here was just a normal water battery setup and this one here was actually in the centre of that cell and this one here was in the centre of that cell where we have our reverse current flow going into our plate and same amount of time one week each other than the little bit of dirty mark there where I had the alligator clips hooked up um, you can see this plate has absolutely no damage at all to it whereas the one that wasn't getting the back EMF spike is looking a little deteriorated as you can see so like I said other than where the alligator clip was um, same on this one this plate has no deterioration whatsoever on it both sides whereas this one here as you can see wasn't doing so well so looks like we've cured the problem of the plates deteriorating now there was a little bonus by doing this and this is the bit Russ might be interested in is we are making hydrogen from the plates as soon as I put that um, negative potential into the negative plates rather than taking it out we start to produce hydrogen now this setup here will hold about 6.2 to 6.4 volts um, now what we can do here also is as I wind the resistance up to our plates um, we can start to power up the cap have a little light there that is starting to glow and you'll see it every pulse it gets brighter and brighter and the voltage in that large cap with that light hooked on starts to climb fairly well is nice and bright and we are still making hydrogen very little keeping in mind we've only got about 1.8 volts across each cell but uh, there is a lot of bubbles on the plate. I don't know if you can see that the lighting is not very good in this shed. But yes, definitely making hydrogen. And what you have to keep in mind is we're making hydrogen and electricity our plates are remaining healthy and there is no battery it's all just from water <coughs> so that's my little setup so what we're going to do with this now is we're going to shelve it 
over here on the wall or something and we're going to leave it running and see how long it actually goes for but like I said um, it's been many weeks testing on this trying different uh, circuits on it turns out once again the simplest circuit seems to be the most effective and the cells have not deteriorated so they are now linked in series and I had a couple parallel and then those two in series another couple in parallel and those two in series but I've just gone through and linked the whole lot in series and um, it's ticking away quite nicely So there you go, hydrogen and electricity from um, nothing but water and steel plates which we have managed to stop the deterioration of the plates the other setup on the little jewel feath has been going for about six weeks now and the plates still look spot on so there you go a hydrogen system that produces its own power to make the hydrogen okay well it's back to putting the train set together so Cheers from the Tin Man.